All right, let's practice doing multiplication input output tables where we need to find the rule. So that means it's giving us the number that's in and the number that's out. We have to find out the rule that is being applied. So our first one has the choices multiply by 9, 7, 1, or 2. So let's look at the numbers we have going in and out. I have 3 going to 3, I have 6 going to 6, and I have 8 going to 8. Not really any changes there, okay? So let's do it this way. If I multiply 3 times 9, am I going to get 3 as my product, my answer? No way. That's going to be 27. What if I multiplied by 1? Is 3 times 1 equal to 3? Yes, the rule is any number times 1 equals the other factor. So that means 6 times 1 equals 6. That means 6 times 1 is 6, and 8 times 1 equals 8. So our rule is to multiply by 1. Let's do another one. This time, in and out, we have 2 to 4. 4 to 8, and 5 to 10. And our choices for multiplication are multiply by 1, 5, 10, or 2. All right, so let's look at our choices for a second. All right, are there any choices I can eliminate right away? I can get rid of 1 because we just said in our last question, any number times 1 equals the other factor. So I know 2 times 1 for example, in the first question, is not going to equal 4. 2 times 1 equals 2, okay? I also know I can get rid of 10 because if I multiply any number times 10, I take the one factor and I put a 0 onto it. So, for example, 2 times 10 would equal 20. We're looking for 4. So that means it's either 5 or 2. Well, if I do 2 times 5, I'll get 10. Hmm, that doesn't work here. But look down below. We just said 2 times 5 equals 10. So that means 5 times 2 equals 10. I think we might have found our rule. Is 4 times 2 equal to 8? It is. And is 2 times 2 equal to 4. It is. See how doing some thought and work on the side actually helped us find our answer? It's awesome. So our rule is multiply by 2. Next, what's the rule for this one? Okay, we have 0 to 0, 1 to 3, and 3 to 9. And our rules are to multiply by 8, 4, 2, or 3. Okay. Can I get rid of anything right away? Well, looking at zero, we know that any number times zero equals zero, so I can't eliminate anything there, okay? So one times something equals three. Hmm, well, is one times eight three? No. Is one times four three? No. See how I'm crossing out choices I know are impossible? So that means it's either multiply by 2 or 3. Well, is 1 times 2 equal to 3? No, it would be if we're adding, but we're multiplying. So that means it should be multiply by 3, but let's check. Is 1 times 3 equal to 3? Yes. And is 3 times 3 equal to 9? Yes. So multiply by 3 is our answer. Next one. Okay. We can multiply by 10, 2, 1, or 5. I'm going to cross out 1 right away because in order for it to be 1 to multiply by 1, these numbers on the output would have to be the same as the input. So it can't be that. Okay. I also know it can't be multiplied by 10 because if I were multiplying by 10, the output would be the input with just a zero on the end. 
So it can't be that. Can't be multiplied by 10. Can't be multiplied by 1. So it's either 2 or 5. So let's try 2. 1 times 2. Does that equal 2? Yes. Let's check the rest. Is 4 times 2 equal to 8? Yes. Is 5 times 2 equal to 10? Yes. So that means multiply by 2 is our answer. Next one. We have multiply by 3, 8, 2, or 7. All right, let's see. Let's get rid of some wacky ones. I'm going to get rid of multiply by 8 and 7. Because if I were to multiply any of these numbers by those, my products would be way higher than what is given here. So that means it either needs to be 3 or 2. So let's try 3. What is 3 times 3? That equals 9. We want a 6. So let's try 3 times 2 instead because that's our other choice. 3 times 2 is 6. Is 4 times 2 equal to 8? Yes. And is 5 times 2 equal to 10? Yes, so our rule again is to multiply by 2. Next one. Ooh, look at What do I see is happening? My input and my output are what? The same. So what am I multiplying by? In order for them to be the same going in and out, what do I have to multiply by? 1. Good job. Next one says... We can either multiply by 5, 0, 8, or 6. Look at my output. What do you notice? They are all what? They're all zeros. Which number, when you multiply by it, gives you a product or an answer of 0 every time? 0. Anytime you multiply by 0, your answer is 0. Next one. All right. We can either multiply by 10, 1, 2, or 3. Well, I'm not going to get really any answer just looking at 0 and 0 because any number times 0 equals 0. So let's try 1 and 3. Is 1 times 3, I'm sorry, is 1 times 10 equal to 3? No way. Is 1 times 2 equal to 3? No way. Is 1 times 1 equal to 3? No. Should be multiplied by 3, so let's check. Is 1 times 3, 3? Yes. Is 2 times 3, 6? Yes. So multiply by 3. Next one. Look closely. Look at our in. We have 3, 6, and 7. Look at our out. We again have 3, 6, and 7. Which number can you multiply by? And your answer, your product, is the other number. It's 1. So our rule is to multiply by 1. Let's do one more. Oh my gosh. Look at my output. What is our rule? They give you the answer right in the output. Because any number times this number equals zero. Our answer is multiply by zero. Great job with these in and output tables.